In all areas of diagnostic ultrasound, higher frequencies generate images which have higher spatial resolution. The trade-off is penetration. The higher the ultrasound frequency, the more energy is lost as it passes through tissue. For larger patients, therefore, we generally need to use lower frequencies. Tissue harmonic imaging enables us to cheat this generally accepted rule of ultrasound physics. When THI is enabled, you can send a low frequency pulse with all its penetration advantages, but tell your ultrasound machine to only process echoes that return at higher frequencies. In other words, you get the best of both worlds high penetration and superior image quality. You may have noticed harmonics in audible sound, particularly if you play a musical instrument, whereby playing or hitting one note can cause another an octave higher to ring without you even touching it. Whether or not you are interested in how tissue harmonic imaging actually works, the important thing to understand is the difference it can make to your imaging. To turn harmonics on, you may have a dedicated THI button as found on the Apogee 1000 Lite or the Siemens P500. Or you may have a frequency knob like this on the Apogee 2300. And when you continue rotating it, your scanner automatically jumps into its harmonics range. Take a look next time you scan, as you may even have been scanning with harmonics on the whole time and not even have realized it. Before we go on, it is important to point out that THI will not behave in exactly the same way across all different makes and models of ultrasound machine. Entry level systems will often not have THI or if they do, you may not notice anything at all when you toggle it on or off. It tends only to be the mid to high end systems where tissue harmonic imaging makes an appreciable difference. So don't be disappointed if you find that it doesn't do anything for you. I am an echocardiographer, but I also teach basic image optimization for abdominal and reproductive ultrasound, and I have been scanning small animals since 2010. My personal experience of using THI is that for abdominal scanning, tissue harmonic imaging really helps in smaller patients. It clears up the artifacts normally found in the near field that we don't notice in larger patients, but when the structure we're looking at is in the first few centimeters, these artifacts can be really problematic. Look, for example, at the difference turning harmonics on makes to this image of the bladder. When harmonics are turned on, you will notice that the displayed frequency is prefixed by the letter H. Notice how it really lifts the fog over this bladder. In this pregnancy scan where the fetus is in the near field, again, turning THI on helps to eliminate some of the artifact that is obscuring the head of the fetus. Now, strangely, my experience in echocardiography is quite the opposite. I find that tissue harmonic imaging provides a much poorer image quality in cats and toy breed dogs from the right parasternal approach, but it's often useful from the left apical view, where I'm then scanning at a greater depth. The main lesson here is that, just like frequency, tissue harmonic imaging is a control that you should be experimenting with on every scan. It only adds a few seconds to your exam time to press the button and decide whether it improves your images or not, so it's definitely worth doing. Sometimes, the difference can be really dramatic. I hope this video has been helpful. If you found it useful, please do leave me a comment below. I'd particularly love to hear the situations where tissue harmonic imaging has helped you.